Hello YouTube, welcome to Java Programming Tutorials. So if you remember in the previous class we did something like this, like printing the strings and all the stuff, if you remember. And if you practice that a lot, then I'm sure then you'll be able to catch up with my new video in which we're gonna declare two variables and perform an operation on them. The operation I mean addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and all. There is an elementary stuff, so you must be knowing those things, okay? And uh, by declaration means we declare. That means variable, if you don't know what a variable means, I'll explain it to you. A variable generally means, uh, you can consider a box. A box can have anything in it. We can, we can keep a mobile phone in that. We can keep our glasses in that. We can keep our computer in that. Depends upon the size, right? So we can consider variable to be a box inside which we can keep any value, any character or any string in the computer language. So if you see here I have declared two variables. Uh, you must be thinking like, okay, you understood this is the variable name, right? And what does this mean? INT, INT. INT just means it's an integer. Whatever variable we have declared is an integer. And we are storing value to that variable. This is an initial value. An initial value is stored to the variable. In Java programming, everything is uh, stored in terms of classes. So if you see here, we have Java 2 is a class, right? So inside class, we have methods. Public, static, void, main is a method. And inside that, we have uh, declarations. So here, one declaration is there, int where 1. And uh, we have given a value 360 to that initial value. Then we have declared one more variable, variable 2, which is like 180, we have given an initial value. Now what I want to do is I want to output the value of this variable. So for that you remember the syntax I guess, system.outPrintLine, uh, variable 1 contains as a string, and plus, here plus means concatenation, I think you remember, I told you this before, plus means concatenation. Alright, so and then variable one. So what this line will do is that it'll say okay variable one contains and variable value of variable one will be displayed. Variable one is three sixty. So it'll display like variable one contains three sixty. So you understood the uh, the way Java works, right? So if you want to output anything, you can just output using the system out you can output the value of a variable using system out keyword and then we have like uh, one more we have just outputting one more variable variable two we are displaying that value to the user then the next step that I want to do is perform an operation uh, you must be thinking why I didn't uh, type this because uh, I think typing like takes a lot of time and my uh, my speed is not that good and you may think that it's boring and uh, even I think it's boring it takes a lot of time so like this you can like have I can explain at the same time you can understand if you have any problem you can ask in the comments if you don't like this method I can surely change it to the previous one I'm improving my tapping skills seriously PG right is right in those things next we have like integer result that's uh, you can to do this in two ways either you can display the result in system dot out you can just just do the division there it'll just like this statement like system out variable one divided by variable two is don't don't think about the string in the string you can write anything you can write tom anything in that you can write and your name also my name is this whatever but what the important part is this plus and whatever comes after this that means variable one divided by variable two i have taken the division operation here that is why so if the one method is doing like this variable one divided by variable 2 you can do that there like that okay and the other method is you can, you can declare a new variable called result which is also an integer variable because we are dividing two integers we're obviously getting an integer value if you're dividing two floating point values we'll get a float value data types and all you can you can just google them you'll get uh, the knowledge of data types I won't be wasting my time telling you about those things but yeah getting an idea of those things is useful um, so I have declared a new variable int result and I have uh, done the operation there. The operation has been performed here. Okay, the operation has been performed in this line, line number 16. Okay, 
and uh, I've stored a new variable I told you that before just repeating that because you need to remember this stuff this these are like a small small uh, programs which build your concepts okay so for us uh, if you want to build your concepts you should start with small programs and then move on to the tougher ones okay so like system out print line variable one divided by variable two is one method is this you can divide like this other method is you can declare one more variable called result which is equal to variable one divided by variable two so when you when you write that here plus result the value will be calculated variable one and variable two will be divided and that will be stored in result and that result will be displayed in this line okay so let's run it Uh, run project run sorry run file see this um, here yeah it takes a lot of time to run in my computer I don't know why it's a slow one I'll improve my <laughs> computer as well I'm promising you many things I guess subscribe me please so that I can earn more money I seriously need money and uh, it's running yeah see yeah uh, variable one contains 360 the way we wanted it to be variable one contains variable one here plus one so that means it gives 360 we are given an initial value right then variable two contains 180 same thing the here variable two contains the value of variable two will be displayed 180 it's easy to understand the java programming logic it's better than c plus plus in terms of difficulty it is better than C++ that means it's easy to learn for beginners of course you should start with Python and all but still you can it's still learn this no problem then variable 1 divided by variable this is the first method like see this like I'm performing the operation here and it's displaying it so it gives the value to here if you see and the second method also gives the same value but I recommend you to use the second method that is declaring a new variable for storing the operation so use that method and because like uh, later when uh, the program gets bigger and bigger you may need to use the same thing in different places so it is difficult for you to write the same code again and again so if you declare once this in result you can always use it throughout any big program so it increases the speed of the programmer okay readability also increases if someone else is reading your program he'll understand your program better and uh, yeah that's it that's your program if you see it's like it takes declares two variables performs an operation and we also learned how to output the value of a variable with a string so that's it that's it's a small it's not a small video it's uh, bigger than my previous two videos and uh, hope you like it if you have any any problem any programming problems you can ask me in the comment section please subscribe please like um, I'm trying to be funny but <laughs> this was like I'm a cold person so like I'll try to be more funny okay and uh, I, I hope you understood what are variables and I hope you understood some knack of programming um, yeah just try this try try different operations like plus multiplication um, addition uh, sorry I told you plus uh, multiplication division division with it subtraction modulus modulus is the reminder operation okay uh, that I will tell you later modulus over you must be knowing that modulus it's not difficult to understand I need not tell you I guess so uh, yeah so next class I will be telling you some intricacies and some uh, programming jargons uh, it's like uh, like what are classes basically I'll be introducing you to the object oriented programming language systems and uh, like what is this public static void main mean and uh, why we're writing like system dot out what is a mean what is a class what are objects what is a package okay these are important parts of Java programming language so see you next time please comment please subscribe and please like my video okay so, bye, see you next time.